Well, we're finally here. Check out the Green Pond Landing here. You know, we were here uh, a couple years ago. We have finished fifth place in the open in the fall. Obviously, a different deal, but um, it's a really nice facility here. So we've had, we've had over the years, we've probably had, I don't know, five or six tournaments here. And uh, today's official practice. So what we're going to do is we're going to stage everybody just like it's tournament day. Um, Corey's going to ride the boat with us today, film everything, but we get we blast off at 7, we're back in at 3, just like a tournament. And uh, so anyways, just join us, and today is official practice day. So we're going to take the cameras in the boat, show you kind of a mindset, all the different decisions I have to make, of course. A um, lot going on, busy, busy week. Um, I'm getting excited, a little jitters, you know. But today's all about to formulate a game plan because the practice videos, the three days of practice, that's right. That's right. It's about Gerald Swindle. This is not Scott Mark's YouTube. This is now G-Man's YouTube, okay? Yes. It is. <laughs> as far as getting like the jitters or overwhelmed by what's going on, I think, I think of those years of course with Cups have prepared me. I mean, obviously, it's a big deal, you know. Going through the Growing through the weigh-in on Friday is something that um, it's going to be pretty cool. It's, I mean, you know, I've dreamed about that for my entire life. Watched it probably more than most uh, to be part of that. It's going to be cool. But my goals today are to get some confidence shallow, hopefully find some areas that I can uh, make a good decision in and, and, and buckle down and catch some good largemouth. Number two, uh, probably the most important thing is I'd really like to find a really good starting spot. I'm boat four. If I can find a good starting spot, a schooling spot, or a place that I can go and catch fish in the morning and get a good bag of fish first thing, it takes a lot of pressure off, and that allows me then to switch gears to largemouth and try to build a bag with largemouth. You know, at the end of the day, I just need five good bites. I don't catch 30 fish is fun, but it's not our goal. Our goal is to catch five big ones. Dropping it straight down, and he got it. That's cool. The problem is, that's not a big fish. But I'm telling you, they like they like this little color right here. It's got a little chartreuse in it. I mean, I just I saw this fish on the graph and dropped them straight down, and they bit it. That was cool. Like I felt him thump it. It was a neat bite. Like it was just falling fallen and it went thong. <laughs> that was cool. Oh wow. trying to see how big they are because if they're just pounding the halfers, pounding the halfers are no good. This is lit. I don't think it's a big one. I think it's a pound and a half, two pounder. Yeah, two pounder. It's a nice fish though. They like this little swim bait, dude. I mean, that's a beautiful fish, but for the Bassmasters Classic, he won't win anything. I'm gonna be really nice to him so he can go down and tell his buddies that I'm a good dude and that and that we have some unfinished family business and then we need to cooperate. He needs to send the good vibes throughout the lake to all of his buddies and even his cousins, the largemouth. So we need to catch some big ones. Don't know if there's big ones in here and they're kind of smart. 
We need to find big ones that haven't been fooled with. And I just don't see the bait. I mean, there's some bait in here, but not a lot. Not a lot of bait. Dang. It's about to go off. Ooh. Nah, see, he's just a little one. I mean, it's cool that we're catching them, but. We need two and a half pounders and up. What we need is a sub two again. Nice fish, but okay. See, dude, the other thing is you're trying to figure out, you know, what's the best way of catching them bunch of fish right there oh man there's a bunch of them there but i don't think they're all big i think they're all little all right let's go i mean look i can come in here and catch a few i'm sure but we need to find a better grade. I haven't seen very many big ones blow up either. Things that I'm like, you wanna see stuff that you're like, is that a striper or is that a, is that a spot? Yeah, those are definitely fish right there, dude. Three or four pounder, but I don't think he is. Whoa, hang on now. Hang on now. A little better, maybe a two pounder. Solid two. I don't know. Still not the, the grade we need. I love that little swim bait. I mean, there's a lot of them in here too. This is a ditch right here. Nice ledge. Kind of see how they react to certain places. Oh, he had it, the little turd. There's one. Pretty good. Might be the right one. Nope. Another pound and a half, two pounder. He's mad though. Yeah, that's um not gonna help. There's a chance some of these fish could be moving up here to spawn. little one but I had another bite on a jerk bait right here you know these fish these fish are only a very short minute away from spawning on some of these rocky banks like this I think
There's a bite, finally. I don't know if it's big or not. Oh, there's a giant one right there, though. There's two giant ones right there. Wow. There was two five pounders right there. Wow. I had a bite, and there was two four to five pounders right there. These fish are going to spawn this week, man. They are so close. Seen a couple, couple good fish. One, one real good one on that dock back there, with like a two pounder, and then we had this couple bites in that other little deal. They seem to be setting up, <clears throat> you know. But this, this is tough because it's like you can see them, and a lot of times they can see you. There's one. There's one. See, I, I can't tell how. I mean, obviously. I mean, it feels like a good one. Let's see if I can see him on the graph. Yeah, there he is right there on the graph. Let's see if I can leash him out. Yeah, yeah. See him right there? Let's see my line going? I'm trying to see him. Maybe, 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 maybe. Oh, he feels big, dude. God darn, he feels big. God. Oh my gosh. Let me waypoint this top. All right, we gotta go. We gotta go. something to um letting this thing sink to the bottom they're picking it up off the bottom is that what that last one did yeah i mean i don't know if it actually well i think it went all the way to the bottom but i'm not shaking it as it's falling i'm letting the i'm letting that worm do its own natural because if you shake it it won't undulate like that it, you're making it like go like this but it's not the same as it just naturally yeah. like pulsing you follow me Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Matt. Happy birthday to you. You just made my day. Yeah. I bet none of your other buddies have seen you happy birthday today. Not a damn one of them. Not a dang one of them. That's right. How, how many pounds you got? Roger told me happy birthday, but he didn't sing to me. Yeah, see. How many pounds you got? How many pounds could you have had right now? Maybe 18. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Bite. I'm trying to see him. He's coming out. Oh, he's coming out here. He doesn't feel big. This one doesn't feel big at all. There he is. Eh, two pounder. Two pounder. Oh, he's about to bite it again. Oh, he's bigger than that, dude. He's a pretty good one. That's a good fish. Yeah, that's a good fish. Right there. Oof, full, full. Look, look, look. Here he comes. Oof, woof, woof. <laughs> that's so freaking cool. <laughs> that's so freaking cool, dude. Look at Look, 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 look. Don't. <laughs> that's a good one, dude. <laughs> it's freaking awesome. <laughs> He's a hoop. I should start on him. Look at him. Oh, here he comes. Do, 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 do. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> that's, oh, I know. Yonk, 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 yonk. <laughs> no, he's not two. He's about a two. You fell in the water right now, dude. He'd eat your toes off. <laughs> You're like, oh. I mean, the sad truth is, dude, like, as fun as that is, it's like, catch all those you want. You're going to have 12, 13 pounds. You're going to be in like 40th place. And that other one, there was some big large mouth. And I think they're, you know, it's just some of those. The problem is a lot of these bigger fish. When you skip in there, a little two pounder comes up and eats it. Little spot, it messes everything up. I've never been reeling in a five pounder, and there's a whole bunch of two pounders behind it. But I always, when I'm reeling in a two pounder, there's a four or five pounder behind it. You ever seen it the opposite way? No. Yeah. Now that was pretty slick. Hi. Ooh. Boom shakalaka. Oh, oh, boom, chakalaka. <laughs> We're going to run way up the river. 
the last hour of the day. So just take a peek at it. See what um see what we can get going. I mean we're getting a lot of bites here, but I'm sure everybody else is getting the same with bites, the same size fish. I don't know how to separate myself, but I'm gonna run in the river and try to do that. But there's also another part of me that just wants to get it out of my system. As silly as that may sound. Fishing with a clearer mind and not having distractions is, is very important. Oh, there he is right there. Oh, there's two of them there. Yeah, there's another one right there. There's a big one right there. It's like a four pounder right there. Is that catchable? He just bit my worm? He just bit my worm. Look, yeah, he's catchable. He's got it right now, dude. It's a four pounder. Here he comes. Look, 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 look. It's a big one, dude. Look, look he's got it again. Look, look, look. Here he comes. Here he comes. I don't know if he's on garden fry or what. It's not a four, but he's a good one. But there's two or three right there. This is kind of confusing. You know, here's the deal. I, I don't know. I don't, I mean, this is going to go off for some people, this muddy water deal. There's just not a lot of it. I got a couple places I think I can get bites. I don't think I can stretch it for three days. But the good thing is, we found some good quality fish on those docks today. And um, so, you know, we may have to just try to win it traditionally. Traditionally is schooling fish in the morning, do, do a few things, and then skip docks the rest of the day. And it's shaping up to look like it, that's probably going to be the deal. So, I mean, I'm, I think I have a day's worth of largemouth. You know, if I manage them right, maybe two days. And that's only if they're big. I mean, I shook off five or six of the day. But it's just not a lot of muddy water. And the problem is, there's a lot of guys that are looking for this kind of water. So, after day one, it's toast. It's a nice one. It's another two something, or not even maybe not even two. This lake is full of fish this size. Yeah, it's pretty fish, but it's not um not gonna get her done, dude. Neat bite though. There's something that I've been doing with this this little swim bait. If you see one on the graph, just let it sink down. And uh, man, when they see it, just they're hitting it on the fall. That thing's swimming down so slow that they bite it, which is a pretty cool little deal. All right, officially that is officially that is it. We're done. We're done. Uh, three o'clock. We got to be back, or we'll be in trouble. You know, we learned some stuff today. It wasn't quite what I thought in my mind what, what I could do. I'm a, I'm a little, um, I don't know what I am yet, exactly. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make my mind up on what I'm gonna do, but I don't think, I don't think that lar that shallow largemouth deal that, that I have found is, is as strong as I kind of thought it might be. And I'm glad I actually went up the river. I kind of got that out of my system because I, I I can catch extra fish and I can do better with my mind clear instead of wondering, oh my gosh, what's up there? Muddy water, all this, blah, blah, blah. You know, I, I've seen it. I know they're gonna catch a few fish up there, but whatever, I'm done with it. I can stay focused down here, do my thing. Now, we 
go to a <clears throat> what they call the champions dinner tonight, which is where and where the year speech goes down, a few other things. I've never been to one, but we get to dress up, put a little sports coat on. My wife has just flown into town. She's downtown right now. So I'm gonna finish putting these rods up. And then tomorrow we go, we can actually go downtown and we um we park the boat at a certain area. And I think they do a lot of interviews. I think it's a place for fans to come out as well and kind of interact with us, which is cool. And I'll rig a little tackle there tomorrow. Get everything going. But we don't have to rig a lot. Couple, couple spinning rods. Retie a few bait casters. I don't think I really need to do much line. So, I'm excited. You know, you, you just gotta just stay <clears throat> ahead of the fish, and I think I am like right on target. And I tell you, it's interesting. I heard a couple guys kind of little chitter chatter at the boat ramp today, guys that have been fishing out deep or whatever. And I heard a couple of them say things like, yeah, it's getting a little tougher, man. I'm not seeing as many fish out there, you know, or my, my stuff's kind of drying up. It's because they're going to the bank. And uh, I think it's good. I think it's good. You know, we're going to have to really get lucky and get a couple of those big fish in the boat. But if we can do that every day, uh, the number's the number. 17, 18 pounds a day is going to win the tournament. Uh, you know, it really is. So, um, I'm going to leave you guys with that. And we are going to be joining you with another video. Day one and two of the Bassmasters Classic. Most epic video ever. I hope it's the most epic video ever. So I just encourage all of you guys to watch that. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, be sure to do that. Click the notification bell so you'll get all the updates on all the videos. And I appreciate all the support, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Hopefully you learned a few things about bass fishing as well. We'll see you. Bye.